exactly sure what I wanted to do today, um, but we're just gonna keep the Christmas in July theme going, and uh, I'm gonna make a centerpiece today. So I wanted to play with our beautiful new pine centerpiece that came in. So we're gonna play with this today, okay? So what I'm doing is I'm just taking this little platter that I got at Hobby Lobby, and I just glued down a piece of foam and I just mossed it, okay? So that's all I've done so far to, to get it started. So I'm gonna give it just one more second. I'm gonna grab my foil pins. I'm gonna wait for some people to join. If you guys come in, say hello. Happy Friday. It is Friday, right? I'm losing track of the days here lately. Okay. So we're gonna take our little centerpiece and I'm just going to kind of center this up. I think that looks about centered. I think so. And I'm just going to use my floral pins and I'm gonna pin it in. Okay, so I'm just gonna add some glue on here let's get this added. So I'm gonna add it in a few different places. Okay, and we're gonna go with more of a traditional Christmas design with this piece. I was kind of waffling on what I wanted to do and I decided I'd use this pine and I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna use our plaid ribbon that we got in and keep it sort of a traditional Christmas. Okay, so let me add it in about two more places. How's everybody's week been so far? Hopefully you had a good week. We had a good week, it was just very busy. So if you guys have been following along, we just, we just moved and we are building a house. And we just built the shop. The house is not done. They have just started. So we're living in a little tiny house out on the property. And we built the shop and it took longer than expected. So I'm just getting moved into the shop. But we're slowly starting to kind of get back into the hang of things. Thank you guys for coming in and watching. Say hello. Let me know where you guys are watching from. Okay, so I just got that pinned. I've got it pinned in several different places. Okay, so this is what we have so far. Now let's go ahead and add our bow. So I'm just using our new faux dubioni plaid, super pretty ribbon. This is a two and a half. So we are going to just, I've already made it. I just made three loops. Okay, so it's just a three loop bow and they're pretty big loops because we're gonna be adding lots of goodies to this. So we wanna make sure that our bow doesn't get lost in our design. So I'm just gonna take and get it added right here, sort of off center. Okay, we'll mess with our tails in a little bit. Okay, and I've got it kind of sticking up a little bit because we're gonna add all kinds of goodies under there. All right. Thank you guys for coming in. I see some of you guys are joining. Say hello, keep me company. What's everybody been up to? What has everybody been up to? I know it's probably crazy to be seeing Christmas, but it is Christmas in July, right? Okay, so we're gonna anchor our bow. And so I'm just gonna go in with this spray, it's got lots of little goodie bits in it, and I'm just gonna break it up. And we're gonna use this to anchor our bow. So I get a couple different pieces out of this one. Let's see, we get four, four pieces out of this one. 
I could decide if I wanted to do a Halloween or Christmas, but since it's Christmas in July and we got all these good Christmas goodies in, I wanted to go ahead and just do another Christmas one. All right, I'm just gonna take and start anchoring my bow with these. So I'm just gonna lift up and go right underneath. And that's gonna help hold those loops up. Give it nice some, some nice support. Actually, I'm gonna cut this one smaller, so we'll get a, another piece out of this. And I'm gonna mix in both sort of the natural pine with some of the frosty bits. So I'm gonna go right up underneath this one. Now let's go on this other side. If I miss a comment, um, I'll go back afterwards and try to catch up on comments. I will try to try to catch them as we go. Okay, I'm gonna save that pine cone piece for later. Guys are quiet tonight. Okay, let's go under this one. Okay, so I've gone under, I'm gonna add another piece right there. Hopefully you guys can still see and hear me okay. I'm working with um, an internet that's just like a travel internet. So I'm hoping it's okay. Okay, we'll add this last piece and then we're gonna move on. So I'm gonna just stick that one right up underneath there. Let me do that again. Cut it down just a little bit. Hello, thank you guys for coming in. Okay, so I've got some pieces sort of surrounding our bow. That's what we have so far. Okay, let's keep going. Now we're gonna go in with some of this, it's like a holly berry bush. Hi, Eileen, how are you, my friend? Thanks for stopping by and saying hi. Hope you're doing okay. Okay, so I've already cut up some of these just so you didn't have to watch me cut them up. Um, these would look really pretty if you uh, frosted them too, put some little frosty glitter on them, but we're just gonna go with the natural. We're gonna kind of mix in the natural with the, with the frosted on this design. Okay, so I'm just going to add, this is a little bit longer piece. So I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna put it right down here. towards the bottom. Okay. Right in there. Let's get another longer piece. So we went on this side, I'm gonna go on this side. How you been, I mean? Seems like it's been forever since I've got to be online and see everybody's designs. I know you've been killing it. Okay, so I've got two of the longer pieces on the ends. Now I'm gonna go in with a shorter piece. I'm gonna go right, sort of underneath the center of that bow. And I'm just gonna kind of mix these together, just like they're kind of growing, growing together. 
Okay, so I just put that one there in the front and do one on the other side. So this one, I think I'm gonna cut the stem down just a little bit. You've been MIA lately? Yeah, me too. We're finally moved in enough where I have my work table back up. We don't have hard internet yet, but I can at least semi get back to work. Okay, so I added that one left and right. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're gonna do the same thing on the back side. So I'm gonna take the shorter pieces and we're gonna go left and right with that bow. Okay, let's get the other one. Yeah, this is a shorter piece. Let me cut it down. Thank you. Yes, I'm so excited. We uh we still guys, it's been a mess, let me tell you. So we decided to buy 107 acres with my brother because we're going to do like a family ranch but we're sort of out in the middle of nowhere I say nowhere we're about 15 minutes from town but it feels like nowhere you know when you're used to being somewhat near the city and it was 107 acres of undeveloped land so we're talking no water no electricity nothing so we're having to get all that brought in we got the electricity brought in we finally got water put in last week for the shop but water is still not in they're still running pipe back to the tiny home so needless to say it's it's been fun so we go to the tiny home to sleep I have to come back down here in the morning take my showers because we have water down here we still don't have water up there but I'm crossing my fingers next week we're gonna get water up there and we're gonna be back to normal okay so I think this one I want to put sort of coming out it's just a longer piece I'm gonna put it sort of <laughs> yeah it sounds amazing but right now it's it's a hot mess but I just have to keep reminding myself it's only temporary. It's gonna, by the time we get done, it's, it's gonna be wonderful. It's just fun. It's like camping, right? Okay, so I'm gonna put this piece, if I can get it in the foam. It's giving me fits here. Why are you fighting me? There we go. So I have a piece sort of coming up and we're going to do on the other side. So I'm going to go opposite. Hi, how are you? Thank you for coming by. Got your order out today. It's a heavy one. UPS guy probably was not happy with me today. Yes, it's gonna be fun, Eileen. It's it's really gonna be fun. So my parents back in Texas, a couple years ago, we bought a property and um, had the guest house. They they built it like they finished it out. So they've been living with us in the in the guest house for a couple years now. But my brother is in the service and so he's stationed over in Germany well he's about ready to retire and so he wanted to get in on that and as well as have some of the kids come join us and um, so he will hopefully be here within a year I know for sure one of his kids is already planning to build and I'm trying to get some of my kids, but you know, they're young. They don't want to move in with their parents just yet. So it may be down the road before we actually get them to move here, but okay. So I added that one kind of right in the center. 
Okay, isn't that turning out gorgeous? Love it. Okay, so I think we're gonna stop with the holly berries for now and we can come back in and fill it in later if we need to. Oh, so pretty. Okay, so now I'm gonna mix in a little bit of the Frosty Bits. The Santa Boots, right? Look, they're almost sewed out. I just um, took and put my spray foam in them. Aren't they adorable? So we're gonna make some little arrangements out of these. Probably gonna do that one in my YouTube group. Um, but people have already, as soon as I went live with those, they're, they're selling out. I think we're down to under 10 now. So grab them if you want them because they won't be here long, I can guarantee it. Okay, so we're gonna go in with our snowy lamb ear, and this is just so pretty. I may cut this one down, but we'll see. No, we'll leave it long, because I'm gonna try to get it right in the top, too. There's a little piece of that let me see if I, yeah, I can get it right there. There's a little piece of that centerpiece that's like wrapped. And so it's giving me fits trying to stick it in this foam in here. Right, they're fabulous. I had to grab a few of them. I wanted to keep them all, but I didn't. I was, I was good. I was good. one. So I'm just going to kind of go and add these around. These are probably one of my new favorites so far that's come in are these snowy lancers. They're so pretty. Okay. I'm missing my glue pot. I keep wanting to go dip my thing in my glue pot and my glue pot is still buried in a box somewhere that I have yet to find. So I'm having to use my, I'm having to use my hot glue gun and I'm not used to it. Okay, so I'm just put that one right there. Thanks, Eileen. Thanks for coming in. I'll see you soon. Okay, I'm gonna push this one long. matchy but they're in the same you know left right up down so let me look and see okay, I think I'm gonna add a piece on this side let's get this little piece This one's kind of low. I think I'm going to put a low one on this side as well. I should have brought my little turntable. You know what? I think. on the back, I think I need one 
maybe right in here to go diagonal from this one. Yep. Has anyone started doing Christmas arrangements yet? Anybody doing Christmas in July or am I the only crazy one? Beautiful. Look at that. Okay, I think I want a little piece here in the center. And then we'll probably put this one up for a second. sure I'm hearing the crunch of that foam, which I did. So I'm kind of mix these together. Okay. Let's figure out what we're going to do with these tails in a minute. I think I want one up and one back. so far. Right? Yes. I'm sure they're not. The customers out there who aren't, you know, in the, in the design space are probably, probably thinking we're crazy for doing Christmas. But people buy earlier and earlier, it seems, every year. Let's see, what else did I bring? Okay, so just those. So let's bring, let's cut up this one and let's add these little bits. But it seems like everybody just buys so early this year that you almost have to start doing Christmas super early. I already had, um, I already had someone reach out to me for a Christmas, Christmas custom like a month ago. She paid for her deposit in June. So I thought was early. I don't think I've even done one Halloween yet. But that's because of the move. I know I'm really far behind on the Halloween. I know there's probably a lot of designers that's just about done with Halloween. Okay, so I'm gonna go in um, with some of our little bits from this one and I'm just gonna start filling around the bottom and in some of the little places where I think it has a hole. I've got a good little berry piece here. Let me see, I've got one right there. I think we've got a hole right here that could use it. Jill, you have a storefront, right? I think I saw that on your on your page. I'm gonna add this piece right here. I'm just filling in some of the little holes where I can still see some of the foam. a little ICU to lift this, but I don't know if we're going to need it. This is actually filling out really nicely, but I might be able to just get away with not adding it. Okay, I've got a little hole right there. We'll see. 4,000. Wow. Wow. What a huge store. That is awesome. Awesome, awesome. Uh-oh, my ring got stuck in my pine. There it goes. Always thought I would want a storefront, but I don't know. 
there's something nice about just doing online, but I'm sure like you could probably tell me there's pros and cons to both, right? But that is awesome. get into this one little hole and it's tightening. me. There we go. Oh wow. Another shot? That is crazy. How awesome though that you could give that to your daughter. My kind of hope when I started this business was that my kids would could get involved and they've all worked in it to some point. They've all worked for me at some point or another, but none of them have the desire to um like they had, they had their fill. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> they worked for a little bit because mama needed them and then they're like, I'm out. Maybe when they get older, they'll want to come back and do something. I'm like, just help me out with like the social media or something, just the computer stuff. You don't have to actually craft. Okay. Let me see. I think it's turning out pretty nice. What do you guys think? I, I brought in this little icy piece of this to fill in some holes. I'm just waffling on whether or not I want to. Let me see. Let me see. It's already pretty full. Yeah, I see a couple little spots. We'll hit it with, we'll just use like one dish of this, maybe. I say that, but um, if you've ever watched me design, I don't know when to stop. Oh yeah, I like that. So just kind of, I'm just kind of tucking that in the little holes. Isn't that nice? Nice little touch. And then this will be the last thing. So I love doing these little arrangements because they're they're quick and usually fairly easy. This one's fighting me with that a little bit with that foam. I probably should have made my foam block a little bit bigger. I may have to put this on a pick. There it is. get into the spoon better now with this pick on there. Thank you. So when you start getting to where you're having to really reach for that phone, it's easier sometimes if you put the, put the, the picks on there. Okay, let's do three, these last three, and then we're going to just call it a day. Because if I don't, I'm just going to keep going and get all crazy with it. Oops. Well, that didn't work. Ah, 
and these pick machines sometimes. There it goes. Like a love hate. Okay, let's see where else I have a little hole. How's my bottom looking? Let's do one right down here. Okay, let's do. little pine cones too we might stick in. See I told you I don't know when to stop. I got one more piece. There we go. Okay. What do you guys think? Turned out pretty good, I think. And we've only been on for what? Maybe 30 minutes, 30, 40 minutes. Hi, how are you? Thanks for hopping on. So I have a couple of these little pine cones that I pulled off of that one stem. I may just take and add these a little bit around the bottom. And then that's gonna be it. Thank you, I appreciate it. I'm so glad you were able to hop on. Thank you, Cecilia. Okay, I'm gonna have to put these on a pitch too. Let's just try to add a couple of these little pine cones in here. Yeah, I like that. Okay. right there. So let's add one back here. Does anybody have any questions? You guys have been quiet tonight. Okay, I added that one right in that little hole right there. I got one more and then we're going to be done, y'all. this one right up under here. Maybe if I can get a hold of that foam. There we go. Oops. There. It's right up underneath. Kind of help hide that foam. Okay guys, I think we are finished. So Beautiful little traditional Christmas design for Christmas in July. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for coming in and keeping me company. And I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. I will try to be back live again next week. I'm not sure what we're going to design yet. But uh, until then, bye y'all.